All right, September is Life Insurance Awareness Month, and a recent survey from the insurance industry found 41% of Americans either don't have life insurance or are underinsured. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us now for more on this issue. And my first question to you was, do, does everyone need it? Not necessarily. Okay. I think a good question to ask yourself mm -hmm. is, if I were to pass away, mm -hmm. would anyone be impacted financially by my death? And if the answer is yes, Yes, then you need life insurance, right? So that could mean you have children, mm -hmm. but it could also mean that you have maybe adult parents you're taking care of. Uh, yes. You have a spouse who doesn't make as much as you do. You know, it's interesting. There's some surveys out from the insurance industry itself. And one that really strikes me is that 10% of people say that I would feel the financial strain if my partner passed within a week and 40% say mm. I'd feel it within months. So I think that most people, if you answer yes, the thing to really know is that there are a lot of cheap solutions. You uh -huh. don't have to be going after the thing that some insurance agent is just pushing on you. Right, okay, so there are different types of insurance. Which is the best? Well, it's funny because, you know, insurance people are gonna come after me for saying this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say I invite you this. The vast majority of people should be looking at term life insurance. Mm. That means that you're insured for a specific period of time, a term. If you die within that term or that time period, your beneficiary gets the proceeds of this insurance policy. And term is really affordable until about age 50. Now the theory here is that for most people, you only need insurance for a specific period of time because during that time, you're accumulating other assets, your family may be growing, mm -hmm. you may actually see your your mortgage part go down, the balances go down, so you don't need it as much. So to some extent, you're young, you're starting off, you have nothing, that's a great time to buy life insurance, but as you get older, you don't need the life insurance anymore because you're self-insuring with your right. own money. So actually, you look at it when you're younger, like what kind of ages are we talking about? Well, I think it's really, again, you don't get it if you don't need it. Right. I, don't th I do not believe in that, but if you're a young married couple and you mm -hmm. have insurance through work, great, but if you're all of a sudden saying like, wait, if one of us we're making a lot more than the other. Maybe we go to private insurance. Maybe we go online. We go to one of these aggregation services. We shop around. You can go to this website, lifehappens.org. They've got a great calculator. You can find out exactly how much insurance you need for every stage of your life. And mm. I really do suggest that this is part of your financial plan. You update this, say, every one, two, three years. And it may be like, ah, we're good. We're all, all set. And maybe it's like, you know what? We had two more kids since the last time we we did this, let's get some more coverage. You can always check with your workplace to see if they'll allow you to buy additional coverage. The most important thing about that is if you go through work, you want to make sure that coverage is portable, that you can take it with you when you leave or if you leave that job. Okay, and very quickly, what's a good way to start looking? You said look for term life insurance, but I'm sure there's just so many different companies. Yeah, I mean, look, I think that, um, full disclosure, I have a company that sponsors my podcast, mm -hmm. Jill on Money, and I've been very familiar with them, so I'll just give them the plug. Uh, you know, this is called Policy Genius. It's an aggregation site, so there's lots of different mm -hmm. policies that are on that site. You plug in some variables, they'll throw out some quotes, you'll see what you can get. But there's a lot of organizations online that do the exact same thing. All that is important here, when you go to lifehappens.org, again, if you answer the question, yes, somebody relies on me financially, they would be hurt, then you go to how much, then you go to how, where do I find it. Great advice, Jill. Thank you. And sure. welcome back. Oh, thank you. Nice to have you back. And, and your vacation. To you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So you can see Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis, go to jillonmoney.com. We'll be right back.